previously on launch control. After narrowly missing the win at the Snowdrift Rally, I know later on the year these points will be very valuable. The team has returned to their headquarters in Vermont to prepare for the next event. But just when they thought it was going to be a normal day at the office, Team Rallycross driver Bucky Lassick pops in for a visit. This is Launch Control. Bucky joined the Subaru Puma Rallycross team as one of the three drivers alongside Dave Mira and Severa Isaksen. Best known for his successful skateboarding career, Bucky has also had the passion for racing. See these eyes? Business. Since I have raced a lot of wheel to wheel, I'm all for it. Racing is something I've done for years and to be able to come aboard a, a, a team like Subaru and help develop a brand new car is a chance of a lifetime. Growth and development were his goals in 2012. Basically learning to track and racing at the same time. The learning curve was steep, coming to terms with a new sport, a new car, and a new team still in development. Rallycross is new to Subaru. Yeah, we've, we've been reigning champions in rally for years, but these other cars have been developed for over 10 years, and all they're doing is dropping a new body on it. We're going full force, and we're building it from the ground up, 100% Subaru. Bucky rose to the challenge. Lap times dropped as his speed increased culminating in an A-Main qualification at the last race of the season. The crew, hard at work under the direction of Lance Smith, receives a visit from Bucky. Honey, I'm home. What's new? Red eye flights and race cars. Figured I'd swing by here for a day, show the face, remember. So I got to walk around with Lance today. He uh, took me around the shop, showed me some of the new stuff. So they are going to make, they're going to make a panel there? Oh, yeah, the biggest improvements this year will be back to a regular handbrake. A lot gentler than before you want. I also got to talk to some of the techs about the, the cars, some of the new features on the cars. So I'm not really blindsided when I come to the test and, and jump in the car for the first time and get overwhelmed by all these different changes. Ooh, I like what I see. See it, but this is a flare to protect your rear wheel. So he's making a mold, and this will be a carbon reinforced piece that will actually go on. The question is, will this fit on my street car? <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you guys again. She's pretty. Uh, turbo is relocated. Much easier exhaust system. Dry sump for the oil. We have done one test on the dyno. It's very promising. And You're doing a good job, though. Okay, good. You know the place well. The team's been busy, a lot of good changes to the car. They got, they got a dyno room. They got a lot of new stuff going on with the motors. So things are looking great. Hey, what's up? Good to see you. What's how up? you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, when I became good? part of Subaru, I became part of the Subaru family. Oh, we're all a family. We're all a family here, so whatever it takes. And Bucky never misses a chance to show his gratitude. I'm back. Man, what's somebody clean the floor? Ken Block's floor isn't that dirty. Oh, oh, oh damn. damn. Bucky's visit isn't merely social. The next day sees him at the nearby Team O'Neill Rally School for some practice on ice and snow. It actually helps to taste it. That's, see, that's a technique that the competitors aren't yet using. Slick yeah. conditions bring a driver's focus to a new level. What's up, I'm Ryan Turk. And I'm the chance to run head to head with Ryan Turk for an episode of his Turk show adds a dose of fun to the lessons. I'm not a California boy. I'm an East Coast boy. I actually can't wait to drive in some snow. My hands are still a little too fast. I got tarmac hands right now. You'll never stop learning in the snow. You know, it teaches you patience. It teaches you car control, um, all of which translates over into a, you know, a very competitive rallycross driver, and that's what I want to be. Pretty fun though. You can get into a situation a little bit. That's the first time I really drove through trees in the snow. I felt a little David Higgins in me. Although snow and ice are not expected at any of the global rallycross events, mastering these extremes will ease the challenges to come. 
As Bucky sharpens his edge, the rest of the team has traveled to Missouri and is testing in preparation for the high-speed rally in the 100-acre wood. This test is critical. Rival Ken Block has dominated these roads in years past. Ken will certainly bring the fight. He has a, a very good car. He came and did two events last year here in the U.S. and won both of them. And uh, we want the chance, and we're going to get the chance to set the record straight. Getting the most high-speed performance out of the car is essential for success in Missouri, and the team is confident. But tomorrow, it will all change. There will be no dry roads, no high-speed gravel, no reliable grip. An overnight storm has turned the fast gravel roads into skating rinks. That's next time on Launch Control. And we've cleared the stage. Ready to go. You okay? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hit my knee so hard on the ground. <laughs> Quick, give me a give me a car, a rally car to sit in. Higgins would be fine. <laughs>